Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne who still perform miracles and wonders each and every day, who is still in their healing business, who is still in their blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. And he is so worthy, hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Every day is a day to enter into his course with thanksgiving and praise to glorify and magnify and shout his holy name. Giving thanks to him is what we all should do each and every day. Because every last one of us are in debt with Jesus. He don't owe us anything, but we are in debt with him. Yes, we are. God is our rock, our refuge, our healer, our protector, our provider. He is our everything. He is our deliverer. Every day when he wakes me up, I come to him with thanksgiving and praise for blessing me and all my brothers and sisters to see another day for us continue to seek him in his kingdom to keep our eyes focused on him for us to continue to trust him even though we don't see things happening but it's our job and our duty for us to continue to trust him if you're expecting Jesus to do some things in your life you must trust him you got to learn how to activate your faith through Jesus not through your mouth, but you got to say, Jesus, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what I'm facing, I know that you got me in the right place. I know that you're going to do some things. I know that you're going to show up. I know that you're going to show out. I don't know how you're going to do it, Jesus, but I know that you're going to come through. I know that you will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. He will come through. He will prevail. He has not brought you this far, my brothers and sisters, to let you down. God will make a way when it seems like there's no way. He shows up on unexpected times and unexpected ways. And I'm speaking to somebody right now today. Get ready because God is about to show up in your life. A miracle is about to happen. Your blessing and your breakthrough is just around the corner. I know, I know that you've been hurting. I know that you've been suffering. But you got to hold on to Jesus just a little bit more longer. He got you at the right spot right now today. If you just hold on to his words, hold on to his promises. Because the word of God tells us in Numbers 23 verse 19 that he is not a man that he should not lie. Nor he's a son of man that he should even change his mind. And that's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters. That praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because he is still working behind the scenes. And he is working on your situation right now today. And if you know it, give Jesus some thanks and praise and glory in the house of the Lord right now today. And if you have not, and if you have not invited in hand, invited Jesus into your life today, what are you waiting on right now? Open up your heart right now and invite him in right now. Welcome him in right now. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done right now. We thank you, Father God, because we're still in control and we're still in charge. We just thank you, Father God, for what, what's about to take place right now. We thank you, Father God, that we can always spend time with you, Jesus, that we can talk to you about every anything. We thank you, Father God, for this word right now. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message right now. We just thank you, Father God, that you are still right here, Father God, that you are doing miracles right now behind the scenes right now in our life right now today. Oh, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. And I know that you're about to show up. And I know that you're about to show out. Glory be to God. I believe and I declare, I decree today, God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone's ready to give their life over to you today, right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I just ask of you for you to move through this place right now. Allow your angels to move through this place right now. Allow your love to move through this place right now. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today. Let your words go out and it should not return by war today. Oh, Father God, this is your house. 
The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Oh God, we just thank you right now today. We glorify your name right now today. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. We worship you right now today, Jesus. In the house of the Lord right now today, Jesus. Oh, we give you thanks right now today. Oh, Father God, we worship your name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we can't do this without you, Jesus. We can't make it without you, Jesus. We need you right now today, Jesus. We need your, we need your love right now, Jesus. I'm asking you to do a new thing in my brothers and my sisters' life right now. I'm asking you, Father God, for a miracle for my brothers and sisters right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us, Father God, because we know what we're going through, Father God. And God, it's been difficult for us, God. It's been, it's been painful for us in this season, Father God. But God, but we still trust in you. We still Still holding on to your hands right now today, Jesus. Oh, God, we know that you got us, God. So, God, I just ask of you that you continue to move through us. I ask you, Father God, for you to continue to soften our heart. Fill us up more with the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves right now today. Glory be to God. Heavenly Father God, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now in your sanctuary right now, right here on your YouTube channel right now. Right on your platform, right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life, right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through us right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our minds so we hear your soft still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now that they allow us to hold the Holy Ghost fire through the sermon, through the service right now. Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Wash us as white as snow right now today, Father God, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today to do some amazing things right now in this place right now today. Oh God, we just thank you, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Words cannot explain how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how honored and blessed I am to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers and sisters today in your house today, Father God. Father God, we're here today to let you know that we are available for praise, we are available for service, that we are available for the kingdom right now. But most of all, Jesus, that we are available for you. And before I get started, Father God, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you. I just can't think you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't think you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't think you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I brag, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank Thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you read it for God's word, let the church say, man, and let Jesus know right now that you can't thank him enough. Some of my brothers, some of my sisters has been going through some things. It's been difficult for you. It's been painful for you. It's been stressful for you. And it seems like you all alone. It seems like nobody understand what you're going through. It seems like nobody understand the difficulties that you have been, uh, 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 what you've been going through, occurring each and every day. Nobody understand. And it seems like that you're going through the fire by yourself. But you refuse to get up. You refuse to bow down to your finances. You refuse to bow down because you can't do this. You can't do that. You refuse to give up. You refuse. Even though all the odds are against you. Even though you don't know how you're going to get out of this financial debt. Even though you don't know how you're going to get out of this storm. Even though you don't know how you're going to get out of this bankruptcy. Even though you don't know how you're going to get out of 
You don't get out of this, this situation that you've been in. You don't know how you're going to pay your next bill. You don't know where your next meal is coming from. You don't know if you're going to be able to pay your light bill next month. You don't know if you're going to be able to pay your car payment next month. You don't know if you're going to be able to buy your kids some shoe clothes or, or some coats or whatever. The necessary things that your children need. You don't know how you're going through it. And it seems like that you're going through it all along. It seems like nobody understands your pain. It seems like nobody understands your circumstances. It seems like nobody understands what you're dealing with, but God is with you right now today, my sisters. God is with you right now today, my brothers. Even though that you're going through the fire, sometimes when you're going through something, you got to go through it all alone. You can't bring no extra company with you because the company that you keep with you, they're going to they gonna try to tell you to give up. They're going to try to brainwash you to say you need to walk away from this. But when you're going through it all alone, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you wiser. It's going to make you really depend and trust on Jesus, on his words and on his promises no matter what it looked like right now because I know right now it seems like it's a whole bunch of flames that's going on in your marriage right now. It seems like it's a whole bunch of flames that's going on in your health right now. It seems like it's a whole bunch of flames that's going on in your finances right now. It seems like it's a whole bunch of flames that's going through your fiance, your fiance right now, or your boyfriend, or your girlfriend right now. It seems like it's a whole bunch of flames that's going through your job situation right now. It seems like it's a whole bunch of flames right now that's going through your children's life right now. And you say, but God, why all these flames right here, God? You got to remember, a diamond got to go through a flame too before it come a diamond. You got to remember, a sword got to go through the, the flame too before it can come out to be sharp. You got to go through it alone. But you're not alone. There's somebody that understands your situation. There's somebody that understands your circumstances. There's somebody that understands what you're going through. Even though it seems like that you're all alone. But you're not, my sisters. You seem like that you're all alone, but you're not, my brothers. And I know it's been many times that you want to give up. I know it's been many times you want to bow down and say, Jesus, I can't do it no more. I know it's been many times you want to walk away and throw in a towel, but you're still right there. And the reason why you ain't bowed down, the reason why you ain't walked away, the reason why you ain't throwing a towel, because you know it's somebody right there that's making you stronger. You know it's somebody right there that's holding on to you. You know it's someone presence that's near, but you don't know who it is, but his name is Jesus. He's right there with you. Because he know the determination that you have. He see the boldness that's in you. He know how tired you've been. He know how frustrated you've been. He know how depressed you've been. He knows this ain't nothing new to him. He knew this was going to happen before you knew it was going to happen. He knew. But look where you at. You're not along in the fire. You're not alone in your hurt. You're not alone in your pain. You're not alone in your suffering. You're not alone in your loneliness. He's right there. He's right there. And I know it's been a long time coming. But God gonna make a way out of no way. He's gonna show you when you get through, when you get through out of that furnace, you ain't gonna smell like you ain't gonna smell like no smoke. When you get through all that fairness, you ain't going to look like or smell like that you went through a financial situation. You ain't going to look like or smell like that you, that you were depressed. You ain't going to look like or smell like that you've been suffering. You ain't going to look like it. Because he's going to make you whole. He's going to make you over. He just preparing you to get out of the fire. He just preparing you to get out of your hurt. He just preparing you to get out of your suffering. He just preparing you to get out of your difficulties. He just preparing you to get out of what you think was hindering you. He just preparing you. He's there with you, sharpening you through all of it all. Even though you might not see it, but he's right there. And he say, my son, just hold on. You're almost over with. My daughter, hold on. It's almost over with. LT, hold on. It's almost over with. And it is. And it is, my sisters. And it is, my brothers. Hallelujah.
Let's get into this word. Can you please turn your Bible to Daniel 3? And we're going to read verse 26 through 27. That's Daniel chapter 3. And we're going to read verses 26 through 27. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out the fire and the sestraps, perfect governors and royal abiders crowded around them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair on their head signed. Their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. Praise be to God, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who was sent, who was sent his angel and rescued his servant. They trusted in him to follow the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against God, a Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, be cut into pieces and their house be turned to piles of rubble. For no other god can save in this way. Hallelujah. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Because you know why? They refused to bow down. They refused to give up. They refused to do anything else but to trust in the Lord. They refuse. And God sees that determination in you. He sees that you refuse to give up. He sees that you refuse to walk away. He sees that you refuse to, to even curse him. He sees that. But God has sent the angel. And the angel is his son, Jesus. You might seem like that you're in that fire alone. But Jesus is right there with you. The same way that you went into that fire in your finances, in your health, in your dreams, in your business. Jesus is right there with you. He has not left you. He's right there with you. You might not understand it. You might not see it now. But I believe, I declare, I decree right now today. This is the season that you are coming out of that fire. I believe, I declare, I decree today, this is the season that you are coming out of that furnace. I believe, I declare, I decree today that you are coming out with no smoke on you. You are not you won't even smell like you went through. You won't even notice what you went through. People won't understand that you were suffering. People won't even realize that you was going through some difficulties. Because God is going to make a way out of no way for you, my brothers and sisters. The same way he did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he's going to do the same thing for you. It's because of your determination. When you refuse to bow down, when you refuse to give up, and you trust only on Jesus, watch how God make a way out of no way. I don't know who this word is for today. I don't know who this message for today, but God is preparing you to come out of the fire. You're not alone. Watch out God work it out for you. And if you know that God is talking to you, and you know that this word is for you, go and hit this like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, but I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is rivers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always continue to seek him and honor him. Always, always hold on to his unchangeable hands. Always trust him. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you can see them. It doesn't matter if you see they face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. Stay blessed.